Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Bybit for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, you might be getting started with cryptocurrency or trading with crypto cryptocurrency and you've chosen Bybit here as a means of actually trading. Now we'll be giving you some tips here and uh, some functionalities that you could access on Bybit. So first things first is we need to access their official website, which is going to be bybit.com. Now from here in their website, there's going to be a lot of things that you do here. Like for example, if you want to view or see the trading here, as you can see, we have the catch your next trading opportunity here, top gainers and a lot more. They also have markets here, the trades, so for strat trading, convert, measuring trading, we have also have derivatives here, tools and finance. Now in this case, how do we actually start using it? Well, we need to log in or sign up in the platform. Now for us to create our account, let's go ahead and click on sign up at the top right of your screen. And from here, you need to provide your email as well as a password that you want to use for your account. Now if you receive a referral code, you can actually enter the referral code here. But if you want to use your Google account, you could actually should click on the Google option here or the Apple account option. In this case, I'm going to use my Google account here and I want to use it. In this case, it's going to give me two Google two-factor authentication code here. In this case, let's go and enter it. Now, once you've successfully created your account or logged in into your account, you should be able to access the different features that Bybit actually offers. But first things first, if so for you to actually access all the features that Bybit actually offers, you need to first verify yourself. Now, typically, you'll see a banner at the very top here that says verify now. So in this case, go ahead and just click on it and just follow the steps for you to verify yourself. In this case, you just need to provide some government IDs and lively, lively, liveliness or liveness check here for you to actually verify yourself. So that involves actually taking a video of your face just to make sure that you're a real person. Now in this case, just provide all the details necessary and you should be able to verify yourself. In this case, you might be overwhelmed here. What are the things that you need to look at? What are the things that you're currently seeing? Now currently, we are, going, we are currently viewing our homepage here, which in this case, give us the general idea on what we actually do or the general information about cryptocurrency right now. Like for example, there's uh, going to be copy trading here. We also have the catch your next trading opportunities, trade anytime, anywhere if you want to install Bybit on your mobile device. Now in this case, all we need to do is we first have to visit the different tabs here. First is we have the buy crypto section. So we in the buy bit uh, buy crypto section, you have one click buy here, which includes buying crypto within seconds. You also have P2P trading or peer-to-peer -peer trading, which in this case you'll be able to buy crypto from other users from the platform itself. They also have fiat deposit, meaning you'll be able to top up patents into your account, meaning you'll be able to transfer money from your bank account directly into your wallet in Bybit. Also have the crypto deposit here. In this case, you'll be able to deposit crypto in your account. So instead of depositing money, you'll be directly depositing crypto from a different wallet. Now, for example, if you want to click or use the one click buy here, go ahead and click on it and it should redirect you to another page. In this case, it's going to ask you, what do you want to buy? For example, I want to actually spend around 100 AUD. Now you'll be receiving around this price here, which is going to be USDT, which is going to 61 USDT. In this case, there's going to be some limits on uh, transactions here if you haven't verified yourself. So let's go ahead and choose your appropriate, appropriate one here. So in this case, let's go ahead and verify that. But yeah, so once you've chosen the amount that you want to buy here, you can also choose your payment method here. So they have different payment methods here depending on your current location. Now by default, you have a bank card here, but you also have third party like Banksa, Winpay, and Mercurio. Now you could view more but by, by, by clicking the view more option here, but in this case, again, the payment methods that will be available to you depends on where you're currently located. Now in this case, the same, the same steps actually applies here. Like for example, if you want to fiat deposit here, we just click on it and you just need to indicate the amount. Now the actual UI here of Bybit is actually a very straightforward one. You just need to indicate and read a bunch of information here, but it's actually fairly easy. For example, via deposit here, just need you just need to include the amount that you want to actually buy. 
So for example, we want to maybe deposit an amount that is in our currency. For example, we have USD here. Now USD here. So for example, we want to deposit around 100 USD here. And from here, you'll be able to click on continue. But sometimes you get this red error here. Deposits mu amount must be higher than your trading fees. So in this case, uh, you need to uh, basically increase this one if you want to. Now, if you want to make a fiat withdrawal, you could go ahead and click on fiat withdrawal here and you'll be able to withdraw from your account. Now, you also have markets here. So if you want to have an overview of the market itself, like market sentiment, market data, trading sectors, and you'll be able to also see the top gainers, newly listed and trending cryptocurrencies here. Now, you're also able to see different currency, uh, crypt cryptocurrency here like BTC, USDT, ETH, and USDT. So you might notice that there's going to be USDT, USDC, and a lot of those uh, coins here. Well, USDT and USDC is actually quite similar to uh, or actually closely resembles the actual cur uh, currency that we have right now. So since this is USDT, it actually closely resembles the value of USD. Now, it is a great way for you to compare what you are currently um, have, have right now for cryptocurrency because we all know that cryptocurrency is highly volatile. In this case, uh, if you want to learn more about it, you can go ahead and click on details here and you should be able to read more about it, like the price summary, the uh, how it's actually currently performing. So there's currently, there's going to be a downed, um, trend here for Bitcoin. So that's actually quite bad. So we might see a surge up here sometime soon, but I won't, I wouldn't bet on it, but yeah, hopefully we get a uptrend here. But if you want to read more on it, you could go ahead to about Bitcoin here. And yeah, so let's go ahead and go back in here. Now we also have the option here to trade. So if you want to start trading, but another way for you to start trading is via the trade tab here. We have the spot trading, convert margin trading, ETP trading bot. Now it is actually suggested that you first read through all the uh, policies or all the guides regarding actual trading. So we'll be giving you just an overview on how to use Bybit here. But if you want to start trading here, you could just go to spot trading here or convert. But again, first do your research. So in this case, let's go to spot trading here and go to BTC or USDT. Now you should be able to see the graph for the uh, actual current uh, cryptocurrency here, the order book here and the recent trades here. Now, if you want to actually uh, do a trade here, what you need to do is you need to actually set this either to buy or to sell. Now, if you want to buy something, just click on buy. If you want to sell a cryptocurrency, click on sell. Yeah, you need to make a order price and quantity. So for example, maybe our order price, oh wait, quantity here, let's just say 0 0.001. So in this case, the order value is going to be this one. And if you want to sell it, just click on sell BTC here, and it's going to make an order. Now, since our uh, cryptocurrency is highly volatile, the price itself is rapidly changing. That's why we first have to make an order to actually make a trade on that specific position because Again, cryptocurrency is high volatile. It could rapidly go up or down. Now in this case, let's go ahead and go back. We also have derivatives here. We have tools and even finance. But in this case, you might be wondering, where's your assets? Where's your wallet? Well, you should be able to access it at the very top right here. As you can see, you have your assets. Now you also have the assets overview, how much you have on your account. If you want to make a deposit or withdrawal, you also have your funding account, spot account, or your derivatives. In this case, let's go to our spot wallet, which is our main wallet. Now in here, you should be able to view or have an overview on what your current uh, wallet actually contains. So you'll you be able to see the wallet balance for your VTC, ETH, USDT, USDC, and a lot more. Now, if you want to make withdrawals or transfer, what you need to do is just click on the appropriate buttons here. Let's go ahead and click on withdraw. Now, if you want to make a withdraw here, just go ahead and just indicate the coin. And from here, you what you want to do is you choose either from on-chain withdrawal or internal transfer. And in this case, what you need to do is you just need to enter your wallet address as well as the chain type. Now, in this case, it's actually recommended that you choose the correct network here because uh, basically choosing the incorrect network here would actually lead on uh, actually losing your cryptocurrency and the intended recipient will not be able to receive that specific asset. 
which is something really unfortunate. So make sure that you and the receiver are currently using the same network, which is something really important. But if you're just transferring within a user that is currently using Bybit as well, you could just click on Internet Transfer here and you'll be able to just enter their email address, mobile number, or UID to make the transfer itself. But as well, you need to indicate your withdrawal amount here, which includes the spot wallet and the funding wallet. But once you're done, you can go ahead and just click on confirm. But you can only do this again if you've actually verified your account. That's why the first thing that we actually showed you is to actually verify your account. Now, if you want to change a few things on your account or view other things, like for example, your orders, like what we did before in trading, you'll be able to see your spot order. So if you might made an order on the specific cryptocurrency and you're expecting it to buy on this specific price, you'll be able to see it in the spot order here. Now, if you want to change a few things about your account, you can just hover on your account here. And for example, you should be able to change your account in security, your fees and rates, your rewards for a program here. If you want to earn more on the platform itself, we also have the sub account, API, audit and settings. And if you want to try demo trading, if you want to practice trading on the platform itself. But yeah, so those are the things that you should be learning as a beginner in Bybit. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.